at the time, you know, I was just trying to make money off of my content, which I think that everyone can really relate to that. Um, I even signed up for some affiliate out- outlets and things like that, but it wasn't ever consistent enough for me. And this really led to a lot of uncomfortable confidence at the time and just really a lot of confusion in what I was creating. And so one night again, this was probably back in 2016. So at this point, I had been spending about three years on Instagram trying to build a brand. And I remember my husband having a conversation to me and he just said, Julie, like, why are you trying to be like everyone else? Like, instead of really tapping into what makes you unique, which is your background in publicity. And that is really, Eileen, when I had this revelation that there was a lot of smoke and mirrors around how to actually build a sustainable brand online and how to consistently get paid brand deals. And there was also this lack of information on what it actually takes and how it looks on the business end. And because I had years of working as a publicist and as a content creator, I actually did have a unique understanding of both sides of the industry. And so instead of just trying to do what was popular or trying to look like other creators out there, I decided to actually put my strengths into action. And I sat down at my kitchen table and that was also kind of my office at the time. (laughs) And within an hour, I actually wrote out a blueprint that would end up really creating the brand and business that I have today. And these are the exact steps to the quality content, the audience growth, and paid brand collabs that I ended up um, teaching people. And so first was my brand values. I had to get really clear on what my brand values were. The second was I had to create what I call a signature elevator pitch. And then the third was that I needed to develop a content strategy and a plan that really highlighted my strengths. And then, um, then I knew that I would be ready to start pitching brands. And so I took those three things, my brand values, my signature elevator pitch, and my content strategy. And I started to pitch brands and to negotiate collaborations. And what was really interesting about this, Eileen, is that at the time, I didn't really have a lot of followers. I think I had less than 10,000 followers at the time. So from 2013 to 2016, I had slowly but surely kind of built up a less than 10K following. But I started to pitch brands and I started to get these really good, consistent collaborations. And not only did it work, but it started to work really fast. And so during that year, I actually went from making $200 a month in affiliate commission to making over $75,000 in brand partnerships, all from pitching and negotiating brand deals. The other interesting thing about this is that my following started to grow. I started to build relationships with brands, which was also key to the longer-term sustainability of my brand, which of course led to more collaborations. It led to media. Um, I was even able to negotiate a home makeover with a brand worth over $250,000. And it also got featured in People Magazine. Mm -hmm. And so as you can imagine, all of a sudden I had all these other content creators coming to me and they were like, Julie, I don't really mean to be rude to you, but like, how are you landing all this stuff when you have like no followers? <laughs> yeah. And I'm over here with, you know, 50, 70, hundreds of thousands of followers and I'm not able to do that. You know, so like, even though you have way less followers than I do, you're actually making more money than me. And that's when mm-hmm. I had another revelation that everybody at the time, and I still think this is true today, everyone had been so spellbound by the glossy glamour of the creator industry that many had lost sight of the fact that what they were actually supposed to be doing was building a real business. And I think because of my background and and really the fact that I didn't have a large following to fall back on, I I wasn't the most popular content creator. So I didn't really have the luxury to lose sight of that. Like I had to really start taking it seriously from the beginning. And so I think that really helped of like having my background in PR and just also not being, uh, you know, a big influencer at the time. But what was interesting is that when the content creators at the time found out how much I was making, you know, pitching brands with a lot less followers than they had, they were really intrigued by it and they wanted to know more from me. So that's when I realized that my brand deals that were coming in were really because of that blueprint that I had created for myself, not because of how many followers that I had. 